What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a highly, a highly anticipated figure. I mean like, highly. Out of nowhere, Hot Toys decides to drop some heat and it has arrived and that is correct. We are talking about Director Krennic. That's right guys, we're going to unbox this guy, we're going to take a look at him, take a look at a couple accessories and then we're going to take a look at like the, the Rogue One lineup. I figure we'll bring out like a whole pile of figures and we'll look at it and we'll see how awesome Krennic actually looks up next to him. So I hope you're excited about this. Let's get into it. Let's start with the box. So here we go guys. Director Krennic. Again, it's a normal Star Wars box. I don't know there's a whole lot to write home about about this, but ever since they started putting these little bands on the boxes, big fan of those. But there it is, Director Krennic's in the box. Nothing super special. He's got his little cap going on there. We've got the Who Done It back there, and uh, we've got him uh, pointing a blaster right there. So there's the box. Um, super exciting. If you want to see the inside uh, card sleeve, let's see if I can get this out of here without causing too much drama. And there it is. There's the insert. I mean, I, whoever's doing the photos for these, they just nail them every time. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The fact that that is actually a toy, an action figure, a collectible item, and not a real human being is just... It's just, it's just freaking cool. That's all I want to say. All right, so let's get the box out of here. Let's take a look at the figure. I actually have him out of the box already, so we're going to put him right here. I have not posed him. He's just been sitting here, so... Don't crack on me with the pose, because honestly, I, I, he's just sitting there. So <laughs> Go give me a hard time about that. We'll, we'll pose him up on Instagram, take some photos a little later, and uh, we'll check that out. So let's get all these accessories out of here. It does come with a, a decent amount of accessories. A decent amount. All right, so let's just go ahead and take a look at what all we got. Uh, obviously, we're going to get a display stand, which... You know, it, it, beautiful, yes. I wish, uh, one gripe about this is this is actually, this placard, this is actually stuck on there. Now normally, on previous figures, you have the option to interchange these or not use them at all. I prefer not to use them so my collection looks like, you know, cohesive. This isn't bad looking with the Death Trooper and, and, and whatever. I just wish it was, I wish they hadn't stuck it on there. I guess I'll put it that way. Uh, we do have a metal nameplate. There's Orson Krennic right there. It's pretty nice. And the Rogue One figures have actually been coming with these little extra, you know, extra little extra pieces right here. So, you know, those are nice. It's a little option. You can use them, not use them, whatever. Uh, no more uh, crotch grabber, nothing special there. We do have, uh, oh, this, I gotta show you this. This is cool. Come here, get out of the get out of the holster, man. You can do it. Wow, it's in there. I put it in there good so it wouldn't actually come up. That's crazy. Get out of there. Okay, so here is the blaster. Check this thing out. It is gorgeous. This may be one of the best uh, six scale weapons, just design execution that I've seen in a very, very long time. Absolutely love this thing. It is fantastic with the wood. Oh man, I mean, just, just, I don't know. Just something about it is just gorgeous. So I'm a really big fan of that. It fits into the holster actually quite nicely. Uh, he does come with some, let me see if I can take this off right here real quick. Like, uh, let's put you right there. Uh, he does come with some replacement cartridges, which actually go right here. They're quite a pain to get in and out. Well, I'm going to take one of these out just for you guys. Cause I wanted to, to get it, you know, I want to show it off. Here we go. But I want to sh look at this. Look out! Look at the design, the multicolor they got going on right there. No detail spared, or as if you watch Jurassic Park, uh, no no expense spared. That's what <laughs> that's what he would say. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the box up there so I can put the cloak on there. These are actually kind of a pain to get into the belt, so be patient with these. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Just just be careful. They're gorgeous. They're patinaed. Uh, they're just really in their small so just be careful with that big fan of that I think that's super cool I have not changed it out yet literally this is my first time taking all these accessories out of this box I've been messing with the figure a little bit but um, I, haven't, I haven't even taken this out yet so here we go hands wise where do we want to go let's go now this is interesting I thought I was talking with uh, some buddies of mine uh, the other day about this figure because on the hands and you guys tell me about this this is I don't know what the deal is with this, but I want to show you a couple hands and you tell me your thoughts on these things. Now, they're different. I'll give them that, they are different, but how different are they? That's that's all I want to say. So here we go, I'm gonna get you out of there so you quit glaring on my light. 
But here's our two left hands. All right, and just look, the thumb is ever so slightly higher on this one than it is on this one. Look at that. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, they're so similar. Look at that. Crazy, right? Anyways, there's that. We do have another one that is more of a grasping hand. I guess he could be holding his hat. I guess that's a thing, he could do that. Uh, I've actually used, let's see here, I used this one to hold his cloak, or his cape. Uh, I, I did that on one photo I took for Instagram uh, not too long ago. Uh, we got a couple of fisted hands. We have two hands that are actually on the figure. I'll show those off. One's got his thumb up there, and one's got his thumb laid on top there. So you get a right and left fisted hand. That's more of the iconic uh, thumb going up. And then we have a blaster holding hand, because uh, uh, you gotta have one of those. Now, one thing I will note with this, the blaster, doesn't really stay in the hands. It's, it's it, it doesn't really work. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell this. I'm gonna try and do this up close. Uh, but the gloves are thick, so normally you put the blaster or something, whatever your pistol, whatever you're using, and you you can actually get an index finger in onto the trigger, so the you know the weapon doesn't fall out. This is very loose because the glove hand is so thick. If you were to force that trigger finger through there, you're gonna break off the trigger. Nobody wants to do that. So therefore. It, uh, it will fall out easily. So that's kind of a, a gripe. Um, I think maybe they, I don't know. Small gripe, small gripe, just throwing that out there. Uh, but there's that. Let's take a look at this guy up close. Now this is what everybody's jumping up down about. Here is the actual sculpt of Ben Mendelsohn. And again, guys, absolutely nailed it out of the park. I don't, I don't really think you could get any better than that. They absolutely nailed it. I don't, it's just, I don't know. Moving on, you actually have these interchangeable plates right here for his ranking, which actually changed throughout the, the movie, which I have right here, the other one, so you can actually change those out. Those are magnetic. I don't have any intentions on uh, actually changing those out myself, but you might. Uh, and then we've got these guys right here, which are super tiny and I'm not taking them out, but you get one for each size. And you can see like that one actually, Supposed to clip out there, but we'll fix that in a little bit. Uh, belt wise, I mean, just simple belt. He wasn't really a man of, uh, you know, extreme crazy taste. That's what they gave him. That's what he wore. So we do have this holster right here, which actually holds the weapon fairly well. So you guys saw me kind of struggling with it earlier. And then we've got our ammo cartridges going on there. As far as the belt wise goes, Velcro in the back. But look, I'm just set. Look at this. This one, talking. Look at the stitching, the tailoring. I mean, just come on now. Just come on is awesome black pants uh normal empire poofy pants you know with the little extra poof thing going on there it's pretty normal the boots wise i would have loved to see the split boot but for whatever reason star wars they just don't do a split boot so yeah yeah i don't know it looks great but posing wise it looks weird if you try to bend it and it's you know it's going to probably flake in some point uh down the road so going to be careful with that so anyways I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Now, we do have this cloak or this cape that is uh, magnetic. It actually sits right on here. But if you look, like with him out the, uh, without the cape on, the neck is a little long. So I think they compensated for the cape by giving him a little longer neck. He looks a little weird. Like He never looked like that in the film, like ever. He didn't look like that. Um, but when you put this on there, then he's good to go much better right so magnetic is super cool there are wires running down this uh side wire, wires running down the bottom and they're fairly strong one thing i did note and if i went back and actually watched the the film again after i got the figure because you know this is what you do um but the the cloak on the shoulders what well, his it actually just falls like it's just straight there's no wires and it just falls the weight the natural weight of the fabric falls on the shoulders and here because of the stitching i'll show you this room because of the stitching going in here like the, you got this extra uh, pads going in here in thickness it acts as uh, shoulder pads and so it kind of trying to photograph this guy was a little difficult without having like football shoulders right uh, so that was that was a little tough but i'm gonna give that a pass i'm not even gonna harp too much on it i just want to let you guys know about it if you're trying to photograph it it can be a little uh you know kind of a little tricky but this cape again the material look at the textures look at the stitching going on here guys all the different diagonals got one there diagonal here diagonals down here i mean just i don't know it's not pure white i'm not sure how it's coming across on camera it's not pure right pure white um it is just 
ever so slightly off, ever so slightly off white. Uh, and I think it's film accurate and it's great. So that's pretty cool. So we do have, like I said, we have the, the helmet or the hat. And we also have this poncho, which I'd like to try out if we can. Now, if you guys don't know, Rogue One is actually the movie that got me started in collecting really anything. Uh, Rogue One, uh, once I saw Rogue One, I went and searched for the K2SO Hot Toys figure, which I didn't even know Hot Toys was a thing. I was just looking for Rogue One figures, action figures, statues, something. Ran across Hot Toys uh, on a website and ended up pre-ordering the K2SO. That's it all started from there, guys. K2SO is still sitting back there. He's not going anywhere in the collection anytime soon, but um, that's kind of how all this started. So for me to complete the Rogue One line is kind of a big deal. I'm missing um, one or two figures. Um, I'm missing the Rogue One Vader, but I already have a Vader, so I wasn't really one of the, I didn't want like 17 versions of Vader. So I don't have the Rogue One Vader. So I may get that one, I don't know. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe I should. Hey, dude. Fast forward. <laughs> it took me a second to get all that. So you actually have to take the belt off and uh, put the little poncho thing. It slips over, put the belt back on, which is pretty easy because it just uh, Velcros back here in the back. And uh, we get the poncho on there. And it changed out the hat. And uh, we've already uh, demoted him. <laughs> so we got that going on. I think this may be the look I display mine with. I don't know what you guys think. But... I don't know, I, it's hard to say. Which one do you like? Do you like the hat look? Do you like the, uh, the original uh, intro to the movie look? Do you like the, uh, you know, the upgraded uh, ranking look? I, which one do you like? I don't know. I like, I kind of dig in the poncho though. But I guess it doesn't really matter because I actually have two of these. <laughs> I have a second one coming from Sideshow as well. So I picked this up from Sideshow Collectibles um, back whenever. Um, and then I went ahead and I, 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 I don't know, for whatever reason, I bought a second one. I bought a, I, I did, I bought a second one. So, um, I can display one in both scenes. So that's, I don't know. <laughs> is that crazy? Um, but I really, really like this poncho look. I mean, I, I thought this is the first time putting the poncho on him with the hat. And I really like the other look, but this one is, um, this one's striking me as just freaking cool i like that one so i'll tell you what i'm a big fan of this uh, i'm gonna grab some other rogue one figures and let's take a look at him like amongst his uh movie partners would you just look at that rogue one figures lined up on the table krennic in front tarkin in the back oh i forgot vader oh that you couldn't see him anyways <laughs> i gotta get that vader we've got look we've got imperial disguise Jin. we've got deluxe Jin. we've got cheer it we've got k2 in the back we've got the jet of a troll two pack with tk 14057 in the back we've got the black pauldron we've got the white pauldron jet of a troll trooper in the back we've got shore trooper we've got tarkin we've got death trooper specialist deluxe and then to cap it all off, guys, we've got Director Krennic. And I'm telling you right now, I am so happy I ordered a second one of these. If you haven't already jumped on the wait list with Sideshow Collectibles to be able to pick one up, I would do so. You might be able to find one at a local comic shop. You might be able to find one at uh, another online retailer somewhere that's uh, getting their supply in. They just haven't sold out the pre-orders yet. I don't know. But I will put a link in the description below so you can put up, jump on the, the, uh, the wait list with Sideshow. This thing, holy cow just just gorgeous just gorgeous and if you haven't already checked out my hot toys collection video that i did a couple weeks ago i'll put a link uh, down below for that as well you can go check that out now the question is is this figure worth it i i gotta say yeah i mean if you're a rogue one fan you you gotta say yes i think you have to the head sculpt ben mendelson knocked out of the park 10 out of 10 no questions asked and everything else lined together, just the character, the actor, just everything together with, I mean, just look, you guys tell me in the comment section down below your thoughts. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm freaking blown away. I love it. So happy I ordered a second one. Guys, I hope you're able to grab this one. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'm gonna be taking a close up look at every one of these Rogue One figures. You guys asked for it. We're gonna be breaking each one down. We're gonna look at the accessories. We're gonna do a couple poses with them. It's gonna be pretty fun. So stay tuned for that. If you wanna check that out, subscribe. And if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, please do so. Jettis Patrol is an awesome place to be. Guys, as always, collect what you like. See you next time.